The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so for number five, we're asked to find the domain of an expression. So our expression here is the square root of negative five minus the absolute value of three x plus one, all under the root there. We want to find the domain of this. So our, our only things that can affect domains is if we have fractions, square roots, or logarithms potentially, which we'll deal with later. Um, and we have a square root here. So to, have, to be in our domain, uh, an x would have to make whatever is under the square root here would have to be greater than or equal to 0. Can't have negatives inside square roots. So your normal process would be take everything that's under the root and set it up as an inequality and have negative 5 minus absolute value 3x plus 1 and say if that is greater than or equal to 0, then those x's would be in my domain. But there's a problem with this one in that this is always positive because it's an absolute value. You're subtracting it from a negative number meaning this is always going to be negative no matter what you do so it's obviously never going to be greater than or equal to zero and you have no solutions to this which is answer choice A so oftentimes if you did all the work here you would get a nonsensical answer but if you recognize this early you can get these answers pretty quickly so this comes up pretty often uh, as kind of like trick questions on these types of tests. Uh, if you see absolute values, you know they have to be positive. So always take that into account when just looking at something. It, the answer might be quicker than actually working it all out. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.